Welcome back to What Artie Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a Conqueror gun carriage. It's a British Tier 10 SPG and it's located on the east spawn of Sand River under the command of Captain Ashstorm. Now you can see it's sporting our colours. Kindly provided by Sir Rusty. It's got the What Artie Noobs logo on the sign. And it's a 9.2 inch howitzer mounted in a um, enclosed cockpit on top of a Conqueror chassis. And you know the Conqueror chassis is part of the FD series of tanks, the upgrades to the Centurion. And uh, well, this was a proposal that was put forward but never actually put into production. And Captain Ashstorm has loaded his first shell which took 36.39 seconds and he's now aiming at the enemy. He's got 24 rounds of standard HE and there's his first customer, a Progetto 46. Well, he's about to get a world of hurt on top of him. Rounds out. And that was close. the 319 hit points, it didn't land on him. It actually landed to one side and just splashed him. But uh, the Conqueror gun carriage is most famous for the fact that it gets the nickname the Orbital Laser Cannon and the reason for that obviously is the trajectory of the shells. They go virtually like a parabolic curve upwards and downwards which makes it appear that uh, the Conqueror gun carriage is firing from orbit and that's why they call it the Orbital Laser Cannon in some cases. It doesn't matter if you hide behind a rock you're still going to get hit and that T10 is about to find out why. Rounds out and Yep, that was an impact. You heard the sizzle as the HE round went off against the hull, 468 hit points off him. And in fact, we picked up some stun sis since. Right, we've got a Wizzy 11114 round there to spot for us. That's a Chinese heavy tank, tier 9. And he's got a Carnarvon Action 10 to work with him. Now there's an AMX 50B, tier 10 French with an autoloader. Round out. Should hit. It does! Oh, it's a big hit! It's a penetration. 1,312 hit points. That's a high roll because the alpha damage of the 9.2 inch howitzer is 1,200. So he really did get the maximum roll there. And the AMX 50B has gone down, taken out by the Carnarvon Action 10. So I bet that AMX 50B was feeling a bit sorry for himself after that. And that T10, well, he's a splash kill now. And so's that T55. He fires around in and... Oh, he took Enemy both out! Destroyed. That's a bombardier! Enemy armor destroyed. He got the T55A and the T10 in one shot. That's a bombardier medal. I thought they were very low on health. I thought, hmm, it's only going to take a splash to get them. And that's exactly what Captain Ashdorm did. Splashed them to death. Now we're three tanks up on the enemy at the moment. And there's a Tiger II in the riverbed. Still reloading, but almost about to fire. Rounds out. He pulls forward. Oh, but we got the kill anyway. It was a splash kill, I think. There was no sizzle, so I think it was flash. Well, he's changing position. One of the things about the Conqueror gun carriage is it does have a fairly limited range. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it's true. You know, the, a lot of the RTs between tier 6 to 10 have uh, guns which are capable of firing over the entire range of the map. Uh, you'd normally expect a tier 10 RT to fire just about everywhere, but the Conqueror gun carriage is an exception. It doesn't really have the range to fire of the entire map. And that's even with the top gun. Okay, Progetto 46. He's trying to work out where it's headed. And he lines up the shot for there, because that's the last direction it was seen traveling in. But no joy on that kill. Now, another thing you can see is that Captain Ashton is using tea and pudding. Now, Using premium consumables is something we recommend for all RT players uh, above a certain level, about tier 5 or tier 6 upwards, because it really does improve your performance massively. 
and you'll notice the difference in the amount of damage you do to the enemy team. Right, we've got a T-110E4, American tank destroyer in the dunes. And that one landed nearby, but we're not sure how much damage it Now, we're well up on the enemy. They've only got five tanks left now. And we can actually knock some tree down, but I'm not so sure it's going to matter, really, because I think the enemy's more focused on defending their cap at the moment. And there's that T-110E4. I've got a T-28 attacking him, the American tank destroyer, just took a hit, but 798 hit points. We're loaded now. Rounds out on the T E4. Oh, lovely! Direct hit for 189 hit points. And he's cured his stun with the first aid kit straight away. And unfortunately, we just lost our T-28. And that E4 was just hit. So, and I think he was hit by the other RT on our team, which is a Lorraine 15551. Yep, he's stunned. He just took another hit from an E50 who's rapidly approaching him. We're lining him up for a shot. Rounds out. He's walking back into it. And 306 hit points. And the E50 ram kills him. And that's the last kill of the game. So it's a victory. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's a second class tanker for Captain Ash Dorm in the Conqueror gun carriage. But more importantly, he picked up a bombardier. He took out two enemy tanks with one shot, the T-10 and the T-55A. Got them with splash. And he got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 10 in that battle. Uh, and a win eight of 3,793. So let's have a look at the team scores. Well, if you look at this, he's got the highest amount of damage in the game, but it wasn't enough to get the high caliber for some reason. Uh, maybe it wasn't 20% of the enemy total. He got 3,545 hit points of damage in that game. The high score on the enemy team was their Progetto 46, who managed 3,434. Uh, when it came to kills, again, he's got the highest amount. He got three kills. Uh, the next high scorers were two kills apiece, and same on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, he was actually in third place. T-54 scored more. He got 1,117, and the Carnarvon 1,005. And the T-54 managed to get a Spartan medal as well. And I think the reason for this is that uh, those were Tier 9, and this is a Tier 10. So obviously, every shot that they were doing on a Tier 10 tank was scoring the more XP. And that's why they ended up with a higher score. Let's have a look at detail report. He fired only nine rounds of standard HE ammunition, got four direct hits, one penetration, and nine splash. Damage of 3,545 hit points, all at more than 300 meters. He damaged six of the enemy, killed three of them, and did 1,231 hit points of stun assistance of seven stuns. On a premium account, he earned 55,665 credits, got 13,916 from personal reserve and 21,710 for completing the mission and events. His total was 91,291 credits and after ammunition and consumables, he took away 49,241 credits. He received 1,315 XP times 2 for the first victory of the day, got uh, 434 for completing the mission and events, so his total haul was 3,065 experience points altogether. And he said, always nice to get a bombardier. Yes, it certainly is. Um, and that was a very nice one to get as well, because they were both retreating together, and just it just... You just aim just where it's necessary to put the shell to take out both with one shot. It was a lovely shot. So uh, if you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.